Welcome. Today I'm uh, just going to be doing a tutorial on the 24 volt terminal connections for a split system uh, heat cool system or I also did a diagram for the heat pump. So ideally I, I've put this um, tutorial together just for uh, the people who are new to the industry uh, who are struggling to figure out how the wiring works with the thermostat, the indoor furnace and the outdoor air conditioning unit. So. And if you're a homeowner too, if, if you're wondering how to hook up a new programmable thermostat, this is going to uh, work well for you. So the first thing you want to do is just understand what the terminals are. Because uh, in your wall thermostat, if you were to take it off the wall and take a look at the back or, or the, the subplate that sticks to the wall, you're going to see there's some terminal designations. There's R, Y1, W1, G, and C. And what you want to do is become familiar with what those, um, those letters mean. So over here, I've got sort of like a legend, okay? So you have R, 20, uh, Y1, first stage cooling. If you have a two-stage cooling system, Y2 will be your second stage. W1 is your first stage heating. You'll also see W2 and W3, and we'll get to that in a bit. G, indoor fan unit. O, reversing valve. But O is energized in the cooling mode, okay? Um, so generally, like, uh, if you wanted the unit to fail to heat, meaning if the reversing valve failed, uh, you would always have your heat. Um, some regions, uh, this is different. Sometimes they fail to cool, uh, or sometimes, mostly in the cold regions, it'll fail to heat. Um, and E is for emergency heat. Uh, again, that designation might be different on different thermostats, but I'm just going with the Honeywell. X and D, this is for heat pump. Um, heat during outdoor defrost and I'll get into that when we do the heat pump one okay so first off we're just going to start with the thermostat wiring um, normally you can get different stranded conductor you can get you know four five six seven strands in, in your thermostat wiring and it's all going to be different colors so try and select a color of the wire that matches your terminal so R would be red you know uh, Y would be yellow Sometimes with Y2, if you have a two-stage cooling unit, you'd put that as blue, you know. W would be white. G is green. O would be orange, you know. E, sometimes black or whatever you're working with. Just, just, and, and if you can't follow it, write it down as you're going from, from the wall thermostat to the indoor unit to the outdoor so you know that your connections are good. All right. So first off, uh, the simple heat cool system. This is the wall thermostat. These are the connections you'd be making. So you got R. Y1, W1, G, and C. And then you go to the, you'd run a cable from your wall thermostat to your indoor furnace, and you would just match up the terminals. So your R, your W1, your Y1, or your W1 and your W2, um, then there's your G and your C. I've linked this to the W2 because depending on what kind of indoor furnace you have, sometimes it has uh, different stages of heat, and a lot of times, um, you can either get you know a two-stage heating thermostat. Some people don't. They just link it. Okay, so it just links over. So when your heat comes on, both stages come on. It all depends on what you want to do when you're hooking it up. And then out to your outdoor unit, you just can carry it on. So you go to the R terminal indoor, and you run a cable out to your outdoor AC unit, and you just join the connections. Just make connections between the two. All right. I've put C and B. This B when I put for common, it, it only relates to the outdoor unit, not to the indoor thermostat. Because depending on what model, I know train used to use B as your common in the outdoor unit. So just to, just to throw you a bit of a curveball. So that's why I've mentioned it there. But this B isn't for the indoor thermostat ever, because B is similar to your O, okay? So that, I'll get to that in the heat pump, which is coming up right now. So hopefully you understand that. It's pretty simple. If you were to follow each connection, uh, your life is easy, you know, you can wire these things. And um, best way to do is if you follow this, you're learning on, on, on the way. And once you do a couple of them, uh, you'll never forget them. The next one I've made up is the heat pump. S similar, so the legend hasn't changed. It's all the same. But your, your heat pump has a couple of different things. Okay, so again, I use the, the Honeywell designations. So sometimes your common isn't, isn't a C on a Honeywell, it's an X. Just, just to run that, just another curveball there. So again, R, Y1, W2. So on a heat pump, you have an emergency heat setting on the sub panel uh, on your thermostat. So 
what happens is your first stage of heat is going to be in the heat pump cycle, right? So this one's going to be a fail to uh, heat, meaning the Y will become energized running the outdoor unit in the heat mode. For it to run in the cool mode, it would energize the Y1 and the O. And the, the reversing valve would be energized, and then your outdoor unit would be working in the cooling mode. So if there was anything to happen with the um, reversing valve, you'd always have the heating cycle. All right. So R, Y1, W2. So in the emergency heat mode, uh, it'll, once you hit that switch, it goes straight in, and it, it would just heat up both, both your heaters. It could be either electric or gas, depending on what you're having. Um, and then outdoor unit, say you're in the heating mode, it's getting nice and iced up and it needs to do a defrost. Well, um, the train units have a designation on the outdoor unit of an X. And I believe um, there's another type of unit that has a D. I forget what it's called. But anyways, if you see those designations in the outdoor unit, those are your power uh, connections to liven up your auxiliary heat during a defrost. Rude. That's what it is. The D. The D is for a rude unit. X is for train. Alright, so R, Y1, X, D, O for reversing valve, and that's your common C. Alright, so this is how you would wire up a heat pump. Alright, and that's about it. Okay, you follow this, and you're not going to have much of a problem wiring up heat pumps. Now, with uh, package units, again, it's very similar. All the terminals are going to be the same, but the only thing is you're going to be just going between a wall thermostat and a package AC unit. All right, so there's only one one uh, conductor with a whole bunch of strands of thermostat wire that you're going to be running. But this is a split system heat pump. This is a split system simple cool. And um, just if you wanted, I I threw this in here. This is just a, a note out of a Honeywell manual, and it just shows you designations. You know, the B, the E for emergency heat, um, the G for fan. So if you go through here, you can just sort of read down. And there's also alternate designations just to make it even more confusing. But sometimes you come across that, all right? So this is just sort of a little bit of a reference material for you to, to think about. So hopefully this has been handy um, and some of you guys find this useful. And if you like this, uh, then, hey, give me a thumbs up and uh, please subscribe. I enjoy making this stuff. Cheers.